you panic when getting into gunfights, let's fix that by breaking down some engagements real fast. In this first situation, I full send the ping and drop the first guy. Noticing that there is a second, I know he's going to full send me. I pretend to run so he will pre-aim the exit window. Utilizing my automatic tax burn, I am able to gain the speed to turn around and break his camera and get the easy kill. His only way to recover from this would have been to un-ADS and trust his hip fire. The second situation is about awareness and how that should influence your choices. Without a call out, I notice my teammate is running. Paying attention to my team's position and their health is what gave me the insight to know what's coming. Since he got shot, I know there is someone around this corner most likely full sending, so I choose the ADS and wait for him. This player could have lived by slowing down his pacing just a little bit and waiting for me to push him instead. This next guy had the clear advantage since I was not ADS and he was. Going for the reach out, I choose to conceal more of my body which turns the advantage back to me. In gunfights, the less of your body you can expose means you will live much longer. Ladders in Warzone used to be instant death. Now that we all have pistols, you should be taking advantage of them. Me and this player break each other and once he runs, I decide to go up and shoot him the back he should have pushed me and kept me off the ladder instead he decided to run and turn his back pinned at the bottom of stairs is never a good spot to be once i drop spawn i see there's a player elevated above me but he is no longer holding me down pushing up the stairs i make the fatal mistake of reloading as i peek since at this time of the clip you cannot reload cancel i'm going to use my stun in a defensive way to slow him down so i can reload once ready i call in a streak to push them back down the stairs this is a choke point giving myself the advantage to hold the middle there was no way out of this for these players a rock and a hard spot me versus precision this next clip i am just now coming back and want to show y'all how misdirection works if there is no cover to fake someone with then use misdirection make them think you're gonna go one way and then tack jump the other way lethal explosives are great for turning the advantage back to you this guy having high ground i throw the grenade to push him over the ledge but i maintain knowledge of the cover to my immediate right if he hits too many shots his way out of this would have been falling back behind the grenade and taking some damage and then re-peaking to maintain the high ground. Like and follow this help and check out these videos to keep improving.